Strange things are happening in African churches. Powerful miracle service. Beloved, listen to me as we are coming. You are coming to get this miracle water. My God, power upon power is taking place. What is the purpose of this miracle water? Prophet Anapoku is going to use this miracle water to wash your feet. We call it feet washing. My God, my God. There is a position that you need to take. There is a marriage that you need to succeed. There is some money that needs to come. There is somewhere that you need to step. But due to some spiritual foundations, you are not able to partake. A prophet gets worshipped by his church members. A false prophet kisses a woman before the congregation, all in the name of deliverance from an evil spirit. And a prophet makes a boy walk like a lion. Move like a lion! Move! Move like a lion! We will cover all of these and more in this video, so be sure to watch until the end. In previous videos, we covered some of the insanity and stupidity in several African churches, all in the name of Christianity. Check out the links in the description if you want to see Alf Lukau raise a dead man. Rise up! Ish. Come on! See why a woman fought a fellow lady in Alf's church. Or worse, see a pastor who gives members fuel to drink and feed them real grass. Is it possible that you can drink petrol and become alive? Is it possible? Is it nice? How does it taste like? It's sweet. Eat quickly. Eat quickly. Today, no time. No time. You eat quickly. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. They help get biblical truth to those in darkness and in desperate need of salvation. God bless you. Prophet Nana Poku is a Ghanaian pastor well known for staging fake miracles. While conducting deliverance on a female church member a few years ago, false prophet Nana began kissing her to cast the devils out of her. This video may be upsetting to some viewers since it depicts a false prophet kissing a lady. Viewers should exercise caution. How are you? Why this false preacher has not been arrested and charged with sexual assault is shocking. While trash-talking with his fellow charlatan, Nana Poku admitted that he does not sleep with ladies in his office. Instead, he sleeps with them in his house. So much for a man of God. Let me tell you something. Talk to me. Social media here, now, it has become a place, a platform. Okay. When you are talking somebody about Nana Poku, Nana Poku sleep with somebody in office. Mm. Nana Poku do this in office. Mm. Listen, you mm. were there and you said that I was sleeping with somebody in office. <laughs> oh my God! I'm telling you now, mm. the way God has blessed me, like, yeah. oh my God, me, I don't, I don't sleep with people even in the hotel. Oh. It can never happen. No, 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 no. South Africa have about three or four houses. It's true. Me and my people sleep in the living room office. No. For what not, reason? Not, not at all. Me, when I pick, when I get to a lady, oh my God, mm. I will take you to my house. Okay. The first thing is, I will blow your mind. That's right. Then you see that I'm a man of what? Substance. <laughs> Hey. The same evil and fraudulent prophet, Nana, is about to do magic in this video, and money will suddenly appear in a woman's bank account. Before he could complete the trick, he had to convince the woman to give him 20000 once the money was in her account. I'm busy with my victory. I'm not gonna cry. Hey, no. I'm not gonna cry. Leaning in the mansion, dear. Yes, no. Madam. Mama, wait. You say you don't know me. How many people are you? I see seven, four, six, eight, three, three, two, five, nine. That is your account number. Absa. Absa. Wow. You are going to get your money. Shut out the grill. The money that the guy took, he took about seven hundred and fifty thousand. Seven hundred and fifty. Maria. He took it from you. Wait, sir. Mama, listen. Mama. He's going to return your money back. How will you, sir? My name is Nanapoku. No doubt. No doubt. But when the money comes now, I will make sure you give me 20,000. Will, okay. okay. will you do it? Okay. Will you do it? Omega, give me her phone. Jesus. Omega, throw the phone to me. Jesus. 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 The money is coming. Power, 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 power. Power, 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 power. Power, power. Omega, check it. Is there any message on it? Check it. 
Is there any message? Message is on it. There's a message. A message. There's Let a the message. woman open the, the message. Ma, we'll have what is inside? We'll have one, ma'am. Omega, check it for me. Power. Papa. Yes. Papa. Yes. 750,000. What you see here is the African equivalent to the prosperity gospel popularized by American preachers. Kenneth Copeland, Benny Hinn, Joel Osteen, and Creflo Dollar, among others, have corrupted the pure gospel in Africa. We genuinely pray that these fraudulent preachers repent, since God will punish them severely for lying and misleading millions of people. There was a, an event in, in Zambia and a big, you know, crusade that happened. It's a miracle crusade that happened. You better believe the topic was not the gospel. The topic was not, you know, come and have your sins forgiven. Come and repent and believe. No. If the topic was not the gospel, what was it then? Come get your blessing. Come get your miracle. Come get your deliverance. And the list goes on and on. These are the things that thousands flock to. From all the insanity we see in churches, it is evident that these false prophets and their followers don't understand what the gospel is all about. And here's the assumption. The assumption is we've already mastered repentance and faith. We've already plumbed the depths of the gospel. We've already done all the exposition that we need to do on all the books of the Bible. What we need now is that real stuff. This is evident in Nana Poku's life. He has no business being a pastor. He would be better off performing tricks. All we do is slowly roll this and you'll see that one dollar bill change from a one to a hundred thank you what false prophet nana poku does in front of his deceived followers is nothing but pure magic the only problem is that people believe he performs divine miracles we have some people they do tricks in church nana poku what i don't want to do is doing tricks no omega oh check the bag hand the bag let everybody see. There's Jesus. nothing inside. I wanna sleep, Lavon. Children of God. But I'm with him. In the house of God, we don't do magic. Your miracle take place. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Jesus. Yes, Lord. By the power. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. See my hands. Amen. Amen. See. Some of these false money miracles have become rampant in Africa because of the high poverty. People are desperate for money, and false prophets like Nana Poku have capitalized on it to enrich themselves. The Bible says in Revelation that the devil can use his agents to perform false miracles, but what we see here is not a false miracle at all. This is a staged trick, and it's not from God, and here is why. You can throw the name of Jesus around all you want. You can sing it 50 times in one song. It's coming. It's coming. And like the charismatics Jesus must have had in mind in the future, including today, they think the proof that they are His is in their prophecies, their exorcisms, and their miracles. Did they really do them? Of course not. Of course not. You have to debate that? The Lord says, I don't even know you. He doesn't empower people who aren't even in His kingdom to do miracles to cast out Satan or, or to reveal his truth through prophecy. These are fake claims, false claims. Here is another false prophet from Angola who calls his church the Ministry of Gold. As you see in this video, members of his church bow before his feet and worship him. He would then stretch his hands and bless them. This is the highest form of idolatry. It is sad to see people rely on false preachers to feed them garbage instead of reading the Bible themselves. If they had read the Bible, they would have learned that God forbids anybody from bowing down to anyone or molten images. Vision Unsealed gets criticized by well-meaning Christians for making videos that expose these types of deception, but we can't help but continue to proclaim biblical truth. 
we are heartbroken to see people get deceived by wicked preachers like this, who prey on desperate and needy people. If only these people know that their help cannot come from the fake ministry of gold, but their help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. We urge everyone watching to turn to Jesus. Take your needs and infirmities to Him. Get the eternal perspective, knowing that even if all your problems are not solved here on earth, you will lack nothing in heaven. Why? God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21, verse 4. For certain people have crept in unnoticed. They have titles, bishop, apostle. They crept in unnoticed. How do you recognize them? Ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only master and Lord Jesus Christ. They pervert the gospel and misrepresent Jesus. That's as simple as I can put it. And they must be contended with. They must be refuted. They must be exposed. Why? Because if you pervert the gospel and misrepresent Jesus, you undermine salvation. Prophet Jeremiah Omoto is the founder of Christ Mercyland Deliverance Ministry in Nigeria. He claims to heal people and cast out demons with holy water. Once you now use the water, after, after before you use the water, you after now say, you demons, look at me. As I now use bath this water, now small or three covers. One, two, three. Say what you want. The demons to clear from you. Moreover, this evil preacher can cast out the spirit of a lion from young children. He makes a little boy accept that he was possessed by the spirit of a lion, snake, and scorpion. This is the highest form of child abuse. Yet, it happens in a so-called church by an acclaimed prophet. Why are you? Speak! I'm a lion! You're a lion! The snake! The scorpion! Oh, scorpion, you okay? Behave like a lion. Let me, let me, let me. Let me. Come on, come on, lion. Watch your screen. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, see, stop it. see the display. You are a lion. You are a lion. You can see the display. Hey, come on, there. come. Of I the command lionic you. Lionic nature. Move like a lion. Move. Move like a lion. Move. Move like a lion. Move. Move. Move like a lion. You are a scorpion too. Or behave like a scorpion. Behave like a scorpion. Move like a scorpion. Move like a scorpion. Move like a scorpion. Move like a scorpion. If you think this type of demonic deposition happens in Africa, watch Kenneth Copeland crawl on the floor like, hmm, let's say a lion. These men preach the doctrine of demons, which is not the true gospel at all, and they must be rejected. It does you no good to believe a false gospel. As Paul would say in Galatians, it's, that's no gospel at all. We must believe the true gospel, the pure gospel. And the only way that people are going to believe the pure gospel and the true gospel is if someone somewhere stands up and refutes the false one. Please pray for the people of Africa, that God will raise godly men and women who would boldly proclaim the unadulterated word of God. Amen.